Hello again, lovelies, and welcome back to the second half of this uh, tour around Yarnum. I don't know when I'm going to stop with this one, to be perfectly honest. I may not, I don't know, maybe it'll be like the last one and it'll just carry on. Uh, I, it wouldn't surprise me, it wouldn't surprise me with this game. It does have a habit of sweeping me up somewhat. Uh, I mean, the FromSoft games, they just do, they just do. The only one I haven't been able to complete, to be honest, is... Um, Demon Souls. I loved it. Don't get me wrong, that's not because I didn't like it. I loved it. It's just very, 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 very hard. Um, it's not as refined as these games, you know, being one of the first of its type. Um, so the balance isn't there, you know? It's not quite as precise as... I mean, this is like... This is a cut diamond. This game is, is mathematical precision and perfection. Um, I can't quite believe it exists a lot of the time. It's, it's so beautiful. Um, oh! Well, that was an odd opening shot, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. We killed the werewolves, didn't we? There's a boss over there. I'm not going down there. I can tell you. Did we kill these these guys? The guys who were high? Yes, we killed them too. Um... I'm going to go to the lantern. I'm going to go to the lantern because... Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Are you well? Be very wary. You see him? Old guy in the wheelchair? He's got a gun. You want to be careful of him. Pungent blood cocktail. Mmm. When the hunt began, the healing church abandoned us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as they burned old Yarnum to the ground on that moonlit night. Sounds like fun! Does this open from this side? I hope it does. Oh, good. This is another shortcut, by the way, that we've just opened up, so that's nice. Now, there's a gentleman up there. There are big gentlemen down there. Is there one over here, too? Oh, hello, he's seen me. Hello! Alright. Oh, I gotcha. You hear that lovely, meaty sound? I love that so much. Another wonderful wheelchair. Look at that. Their wheelchairs are as stylish as their hats in Yarnum, don't you find? Hello, sir. Oh, dear. Bloodstone shard. Ooh, all of this is good. I mean, we can use this to up... What the buggering bloody hell was that? Actually, I know what that was. But, uh... This. Oh, look at that. I l oh, I just love this. The satisfaction of it when it loops around and you open up the shortcuts. It's, it's, it's a Metroidvania. It is effectively a Metroidvania. Um, a very sort of present day, up to date 2000s version. Of a, there's a hat there. Of a Metroidvania. It's got all the, the, the uh, qualities and characteristics of a Metroidvania. Um, it's just in three dimensions. And it works very, very well. Hello. Oh, no. I only want one of you. I can deal with one. Oh, no. It didn't work. It didn't trigger. God damn it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, no. Huh. Oh, fuck. I may have fucked myself here. Let's see. Now, can I draw you? Gotcha. I don't really know why they're, they're not triggering. That's a little weird. May I be pressing the wrong button? I don't know. It's entirely likely. Knowing me, it's entirely likely. <laughs> God, the way they interact with the environment is amazing as well. The way he just staggered on the stairs there. I loved that. There, that's what I want. Lovely. Are you dead? I hope you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Good. Blood vial. We like them. God, look at the state of this place. It's amazing, isn't it? I love Yarnum so much. You hear him there? So cold, dear sister, he says. So there's still lingering bits of memory in this guy. Despite his overt monstrosity. It's very sad. It's very sad. There are two bosses we can go and fight, actually. Down here there is... Uh, well, you know. You know who's down here, don't you, my loves? It's Gascoigne. Oh, it doesn't operate from this side. Right, okay. Father Gascoigne is down that way. He's a bastard. He's a bastard-coated bastard with bastard filling. Um, 
Oh, which way are we going? Now, let me think about this. I think we can open up this too. To provide another shortcut. Yes! There we go. So that opens the way through. And we can also go down towards the sewers, I do believe. I should really go and level up. There are dojas down here. Mangy things they are. Look at that, someone's had their blood delivery look. I can only assume that they must have blood men in Yarnum. You know? Like like people we used to have milkmen once upon a time in the UK. Not anymore, obviously. Well we do, but not like we used to, unfortunately. It's very sad. Hello. Come on then. Ye mangy things. Come on. Bong. Oh, oh you bastard. <laughs> Uh, oh, they seem to be having a good time. Yeah, I'll get rid of them while they're in their cages. It's much easier. It may seem cruel, but believe me, I mean, look at them. I'm doing them a favor. No. Nope. They seem to be having fun, don't they? It's not going to last, as you might have guessed. Lovely. Quite frankly, I wouldn't be keeping the dogs in the cages. I'd be keeping the people in the cages. In Yarnum. Look at the, the statues. There's something very distressing about that, isn't there? Everything is slightly off kilter, yeah? What are you doing? Huh? Off you go. Okay. I am indeed. Uh, I'm afraid I don't. I imagine it's not going to be tonight. I am? Lovely lady. I don't know anywhere for you to go. <laughs> Definitely not. Not when the elderly is you. Again, it's very like Brexit, isn't it? You are all mad. Look at what you've done to your city. You know. You are all mad. Wow, look at this. The coffins that are bound up with chains because people are afraid of whatever's inside bursting out. Yeah, it's it's hideous. Oh, I got you. Oh, and it didn't work. God damn it. <laughs> got him a little bit too late there. Come on. Come on. Do your thing. Come on. Strike. Gotcha. There we go. That's what we like. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Thank you very much, sir. I need some bullets, actually. Well, though, I need to come down here. Oop. Not too far. Because I want to go... I want. First of all, I want to get these corpses down. You see them? Ooh, there's some very nasty enemies down there. I also want to talk to Eileen here. Eileen the Crow. One of the best characters in this entire game. You go. Definitely want to get Eileen's story working because it's it's one of my favourites, and it can come out in lots of different ways as well. I mean, don't expect it to like have a nice ending. It's Bloodborne; nobody has a nice ending. There we go. We can go and get those a little later. I think one of them is a weapon, actually. It's the saw spear, which I've never really used. It's never really been my thing. I quite like the axe myself. It's one of my favourites. Eileen, hello. Oh, a hunter, are you? Apparently so. People keep telling me so. 
what a mess you've been caught up in. I know, right? And tonight of all nights. I love her plague doctor mask, it's great. To welcome the new hunter. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Prepare yourself for the worst. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now. <laughs> Good. Good Still chat. Lingering about. Yep. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. I wouldn't say unnerved. I'm all right. I've got my big axe. No matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're a little different from the beasts themselves. I like you, Eileen, and I really do. Shake off cape. Yeah, it's a gesture. What are you still doing here? Oh, she's getting knocked with me now. Enough trembling in your boots. <laughs> a hunter must hunt. Yeah, it's what we do. Okay, Eileen, I'll leave you be. Um, we'll see her again later. At a very particular point in the game. Very particular, indeed. Okay, now. I think wherever we drop here, it does damage to us. But there are, you know, there are safer places than others. Whoop, that'll do. Woo! I shouldn't get attacked here. There we go. Now you. Can I sneak up behind you and give you a good old visceral? Maybe. I think so. Yep. Lovely. Delicious. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, Mr. Top Hat? Yes, I see you. Beautiful. It's a little slower, the axe, but it is so strong. It's got such heft behind it. It's a, it's a brilliant starting weapon, I've got to say. I know most people favor the saw spear, uh, which is good. I mean, it's an excellent weapon, but I, I do prefer the axe myself. I like that heft that it's got. Hello, is that a glow? I saw hello. Somebody saw me then, didn't they? Somebody saw me. Hello. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Look at him patrolling as they do. Gotcha. Arr! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah! Satisfying doesn't quite begin to cover that. It's just wonderful. Now there are rats down there, and the rats are pains in the arse. Um, yeah. Oh, well. Not much choice in the matter. Hello. Oh, they're very big, aren't they? Oh, God. Gotcha. There we go. Throwing knife? They've always got throwing knives on them. Oh god. Oh god, there's a lot of them in there. Saw spear, there we go. Um, I don't think I've got any throwing weapons on me at the moment. Let me have a look. Um, no, not really. I've used up all of my... Uh, all of my molotovs, which is a real shame, because that's going to make this very difficult. Ooh, look at the way they pulsate. Gross, right? Oh, I missed. God damn it. That could have killed me very easily, actually. I need to up my health quite dramatically. I've got another load down there. Are there any in here? Any ratties? No. No? No. But there are a few down there. And I do believe they're guarding some insight, if I do remember correctly. Yeah, look at them. Oh, fuck. They're so mangy. They're much more mangy than the ones in Dark Souls. Madman's Knowledge. We'll use that, because that will give us a wee bit more insight. Which is always good. Boom! Bada boom. Who was sailing boats in the sewers? That's not a clever thing to do. It's a very good way of getting sick 
is that. But then again, it's Yarnum, isn't it? You know, everybody's sick here. Now, that's the way we came last time. I don't think there's anything in there. There should be another ladder up somewhere. Here we are. Gotta be careful, though. There are some of the monsters patrolling. Look at that bridge. It's fucking amazing, isn't it? Ow, oh, you... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is not going to go well. I need to lead him in here. Away from the... Uh... There we go. That's what we want. It's all about the positioning of enemies in this game. You dead? Yeah, you're dead. Good. You see the way these guys are positioned so that they're firing at you whilst you're trying to take down the close combat guy? It's almost like a puzzle. You know, that's the way you've got to approach it, and it's really wonderful. The same is true of almost all of the FromSoft games, but I think it's more true of Bloodborne than any of them. Lovely. God, we're doing a good job of clearing this out, I've got to say. It's because I'm so bloody familiar with the game. I've played it so many times. <laughs> Called Blood Dew. I just love the mythology of Yarnum. I think it's beautiful. And the way it's told as well, through implication and environment, uh, it's, it's just fantastic. It's a very sophisticated form of storytelling. And one I endeavour to emulate in my writing, to be perfectly honest. God, they're so gross, aren't they? Oh, Jesus. See the one that's hiding? Yes, I see you. Ye shite. Now, can I get that? What is it? I can't remember. I don't think it's anything important, but I would like to get it nonetheless. I don't think it's anything important anyway. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a bloodstone shot. Actually, this is pretty good. That's pretty good. I can really go to town on my axe now. I mean, really go to town on it. We've got the um, the blood echoes. We've got the shards to upgrade it. Yeah, we could really, really do some business here. Which I think is what I'm going to do, actually. Hmm. I could go through the sewers, couldn't I? And open up the shortcut there. I suppose I could do that. Is that advisable? Hmm. Could end up with us carking it, but hey. Everything could end up with you carking it in Bloodborne. That is just the way of things, isn't it? Uh, you see the filth everywhere where we killed those zombie things? Look, here's some more. Oh, they're so vile. Look at them. Again, positioning. You're supposed to rush in, start fighting these, then the crows fall down and get you from behind. See? Haha. -ha. But we can preempt them. go. Wonderful. I do believe... Is there anything in here? Anything worth talking about? No. Hmm. Okay. Just being very, very careful. Because it's, it's very easy to get ambushed down here. Very easy indeed. See, there's some in there that will come out while you're trying to fight these guys. They are very like the Melty Zombie from Return of the Living Dead, aren't they? I think they must have been designed after it. Oh, you bastard. Okay. There we go.
And the implication of these is vile, too. The notion that there may have been people who were treated with the blood who somehow fell down into the sewers and just cannot die. It's gross. It's a horrible concept. But kind of wonderful as well. Isn't that right, sir? Or madam, as the case may be. Another bloodstone shard. No, that's well worth it. That's very good. There's a piggly down there. Can you see him? He's very big and he's very strong. We don't want to be fighting him yet. Gotcha. And you. Come on. Oh, throwing a temper tantrum. Look at the glowing eyes. That's very disturbing, isn't it? Okay. We could fight the pig. You see him? Terrible foe way to head. Sometimes that says, um, beware of blobby thing. And they're not wrong. I'm not going down that way, though. Not yet. I'll go down that way a little later. I have, um, blood echoes to a deposit. Many, many echoes to deposit. And also a shortcut to open. Look at the lurk. Very distressing, right? Very distressing. Off we go! Oh, we are uh, very filthy. We're a filthy hunter. Wonderful. Well, we've killed everyone up here. Bong. That clock tower features in the game's mythology quite a lot later on. When we get to the hunter's nightmare? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just you wait. Okay, well. I love that roar. It's so cool. Across the valley, deep yeah, deep yeah, we've heard that. Thank head. you, man. Get a lozenge, will you? Uh, yes. Or some Vicks Vapor Rub or something, you know? Not sure it would help, but hey. It would make me feel better about things. Hello, madam. You're awake now. How are you doing? Hello, good hunter. I am a doll. And not creepy at all. I dream to look after you. Mm. Honorable hunter. Yes. Pursue the echoes of blood. Will do. And I will channel them into your strength. Oh, somebody died there, right behind me. You not quite sure how. And I will be here for you. Okay. To embolden your sickly spirit. Ah, uh, my spirit isn't sickly. Okay. Very well, let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Okay. Right. Okay. So vitality is definite. Um, endurance is always good. Um, I'm trying to think of the build we're going for here. Um, I'm going to go for a little bit of arcane because the weapons we're going to be using are going to use arcane quite a lot. So that should do. There we are. Wonderful. Did you speak with German? Not yet. He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. Mm. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Yeah, apparently. Still, he stays here. In this dream, such is his purpose. Mm. Prescribed by what, Farewell, I wonder? Hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I love that. I love that so much. Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the co operation of hunters from other worlds. Will do. Wonderful. Now, we definitely want to put the beckoning bell. Um, there we are. Wonderful. I'm going to put a few more blood echoes on as well, using the cold blood dew. Um, there we are. Okay. Wonderful. That's quite a lot, actually. Look at that good little top hat. I love it. Now, have we got any more? Oh, we've got lots, actually. Oh, we've got lots. 
very good. Um, very nice. Look at that. Absolutely superb. Okay. Well, Gaiman's up here. What's this? Consume insight and ring the old hunter bell to enlist the cooperation of old hunters. Okay. Hello. This is Gaiman. Oh. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. That I am. Welcome to the hunter's dream. I love German. This will be your home for now. It's not so bad. I am German. Doesn't seem certain. Hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but <laughs> don't think too hard about all of this. Good advice. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. He is right. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. Used to it. All right. Fair enough. This was once a safe haven for hunters. Meaning it's not now? A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. Yeah, it worked out well for you, we didn't don't it? don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Thank you, Gaiman. Even the dog, should it please you. I don't like the way he says that. I really don't like the way he says that. This was once Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you, you do what you like, Gaiman. I'm, uh... Oh dear, I didn't mean to knock over your books. Sorry. Memory altar. Oh yes, I don't have the necessary tool to do that. Uh, to escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts. Lest the night carry on forever. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is where we can upgrade. Okay. So, there we are. And I'd assume I can fortify my weapon now as well. Oh, Hunter's Axe, definitely. Wonderful. That's very, very cool indeed. So it's a little bit nastier now. Okay. We've also got these. We can buy things with insight from these. Um, what can we get? Small Resonant Bell... Um, to help hunters in other worlds. That's cool. Anything else? Not at the moment. It won't let us buy anything at the moment. Which is fine. We can't do any of the Chalice dungeons. Not yet, anyway. What about here? Acquire items. One thing we do need is um, quite a lot of these. So there we are. And I'll get a few of these as well. Here we are. Wonderful. What else can we buy? Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Very swag. Isn't that right, little messenger dude? Okay. Molotov. Wonderful. Okay, now. Have you noticed, by the way, if we come down here, look. What's that redolent of? If you've played Dark Souls 1. Yeah? If you know, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Sounds like I could do with a bit of a dose of the blood, to be honest. Okay, we want to go... Um, Central Yarnum first, I think. Something very big that we want to kill. Very big indeed. <laughs> oh, I wonder, will... Um, What's-his-face give us the flamethrower yet? Let's have a look. No, not yet. <laughs> he will give us a flamethrower at one point, just not yet. Hello! How you doing? All right? Quick silver bullets. Delicious. Now, I want to go this way. Hello! Mm. 
And you too, mister. No mercy for the elderly, as the messages love to say. I love the fact you can hear them talking. That's really weird. <clears throat> because you have to pay really close attention to hear exactly what they're saying. And it's always this weird sort of conspiratorial stuff. It's really distressing. But very cool. That's what I want. I'm going to need some of that. Now, I'm going to leave them be for now. Don't need to fight the werewolves just yet. They haven't noticed me, have they? No, good. Now, this is an interesting one. Crows and big dudes. We want to get the big dude first. If we can. There we go. <clears throat> that you done, sir? Good. Okay. Okay. As you may have gathered, we're coming up to the first boss here. And he is a big one. Look at this. You know what? You remember when we heard that shriek earlier? When we were climbing the ladder? It was this guy. Here he is! The Cleric Beast! Look at him! Aha! He does not like fire. Which is good news for us. Ow. Thank you. Okay. Come on, then. Ooh, you bastard. Okay. We are going to have to be careful because the axe uses stamina. It uses a lot of stamina. Oh. Oh. I mean, he is the first boss, but he's tough. He's very tough. As are all the bosses in this game. Over, over, over. No, you're not grabbing me, sir. You are not. Aha! Gotcha! Oh, yes. That's just delicious. Oh, look how bloodied he is. Come on. Oh, he's so gross. Oh, God. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see a thing. Oh, I couldn't. I, I couldn't see, unfortunately. Camera dip behind the statues. Oh, well. <coughs> Excuse me. Next time. It has been an age since I fought this guy. You can go and summon Gehrman to fight with you if you want. I'm not sure I'm into that idea. Um, which way are we going? Simply because you don't really need him. I mean, it's it's a difficult boss like all the bosses, but he's not that bad. This dance finished. I know, mate. Oh well, at least it's allowing me to get my blood echoes up, you know? Which I'm gonna need. Quick silver bullets, wonderful. Hmm. It's the heft of the axe that I like. It's so cool. No, you don't, sir. No, you don't. We're also amassing quite a. Um, a good supply of blood vials here too. Which is no bad thing. Okay. I mean, we don't have to necessarily fight these. You can just run round them and go directly to the boss, but... You know what I'm like. I can't help myself. Unfortunately. I go to back. Oh, oh, oh! Peck, peck, peck. 
lovely blood vials. Delicious. But no Molotovs, sadly. Oh well. Hello! Now, nah, gotta keep an eye on him. Lovely. Oh, we missed. God damn it. Haha! <laughs> Got him right in the thigh there. That must have hurt. Tried to grab us there. Huh? Again, camera behind the bridge. Can't see. <laughs> Gotcha! Oh, yes. Oh, that made him angry. <laughs> did not like that at all, did you, sir? Oh, no! Oh, crap. This is bad. Oh, that hurts. That did hurt. But then again, so will this. Ah. It would have, if I'd hit him. I'm gonna smack his ass with the with my axe. No, no. Oh god. Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh. I'm stuck. Oh no. God, I wish I had that flamethrower. Oh, 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 grabby, grabby, grabby. No. Ooh, ooh, look at him pounding that pavement there. Gotcha. Whittling him down. It's the only way to do it, really. Isn't it? So, oh! Come on then. No, that's a one-hit kill usually. If he hits you with that, normally you're dead. Oh yes. Oh yes, delicious. I'm not quite sure what that red aura does. I'm not quite sure. Oh, yes. Oh, wonderful. Oh, palpable hits. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, sir. He's so cool. An amazing monster. And such a brilliant first boss, right? No, you don't. Monsieur Cleric Beast. No. No grabby. No grabby. Oh god, oh god. He's annoyed now, which is not good. And now he's dead. There we go. That's how we do it. Pray slaughtered. And I now have the Sword Hunter badge, which I believe enables me to buy stuff at the shop. Uh, Quicksilver bullets, wonderful. Yeah, that door, apparently, if you read the um, the maker's notes, that door was meant to open, but it was an abandoned feature. Got 5,173. Yeah, yeah, it's worth going back. It's definitely worth going back. Um, I think um, certain options will have been opened up now. Hello. Home, good hunter. Thank you. What is it you desire? I desire a level up. Very well. Let me... Okay. Um, I'm going to... Because my vitality is for shit at the moment. So I'm going to up that as much as I can. 
There we go. That's a little better. Farewell, good hunt. Thank you. Probably going to need it for Gehrman. A uh, gas coin, rather. And so, what can we buy now? Yeah, we can buy other stuff now. The Hunter Chief emblem and the Kirk Hammer. Never used the Kirk Hammer. Never ever used it. Um, I think we're all right at the moment. Hand lantern. Uh, used as a weapon. Now you can actually use that as a weapon. That's cool. I've never used it as a weapon myself. Gehrman's still around. Don't he's buggered off. Sometimes you can find him lying in the grass. And he says different things. Let's see if we can find him. Gammon. Gammon. Where you gone, man? Oh, this is this is the hunt the stump. Uh, the stump appears linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. You can give them different apparel to wear, which is kind of fun. You know, top hats and things like that. Okay, where is he? I don't know. Oh well. There's really only one thing left to do now, which is go and kill Gascoigne, which is not the easiest thing. Um, much, much, much easier said than done, my loves. That's for damn sure. As we well know, Father Gascoigne is a bastard. <laughs> He's a very, very tough enemy indeed. Okay. Oh, these guys are back. Good to know. Where's he going? Oh, he's gonna let his crow friends do the dirty work, is he? Well, that's very cowardly of him, I've gotta say. Very cowardly of you, sir. I've gotta say. You do deserve this. Wonderful. Now, how do we get down to Gascoigne? Oh yeah, we can take the lift, can't we? I remember. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. I know, right? Ow. I mean, we will be swapping out the axe relatively soon um, for some superior weaponry. Um, the one I really want is uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade, because that is spectacular. But we need to open up the game a little bit for that, unfortunately. Um, before we do that, though, I think um, our friend up here will now give me the flamethrower. Or maybe you have to kill Gascoigne first, I'm not sure. You done? Let's go chat to him and see. Yes, I see. Ooh. But the Great Bridge is the only way to the Cathedral Ward. Yeah, and it's closed. During the hunt, the bridge is closed. Yeah, problematic. Mm -hmm. You could try the aqueduct. The aqueduct? There's a rather, how shall I put it, colourful area south of the Great Bridge. Oh, yeah? From there, an aqueduct leads to the Cathedral Ward. So we've got to go climbing through sewage again. Great. Not a place you'd normally want to visit, but... No. I don't imagine you have much of a choice. No, I probably do don't. <laughs> oh dear, you do sound bad, man. I know, I know. Oh, so you're not going to give it me yet. I think I need to kill Gascoigne first, and then he'll give me the um, the flamethrower. Fair enough. I suppose we need the tiny music box out, because Gascoigne likes that. Actually, we don't have to fight these guys at all, do we? We can go this way. Because we've opened up all the shortcuts now. Anything else we need to do in the city? Kill the pig. We can kill the pig. Um, that's about it, though. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Go away, you. I'm busy.
Oh, he's still, that's still coming, look. Ha! Ah! Defeated and disappointed. The piggy is down there. Um, you all remember this, surely. The Indiana Jones moment, right? So, like, they all come running at you. And then that should ignite and uh, come barreling down at them. Come on. There we go. That's what we like. Some of them will get through. Oh, many of them got through. Oh, well. I swear, with certain updates of the game, the timing of that has changed. In early versions of the game, it would get them all. I think they changed it to make it a little bit more fair, you know? Alright, you bastards, come on. What are you laughing at? Mister? Looks to me you haven't got much to be laughing about, to be honest. Thank you very much. A more distressing statuary. Now, we can go down here. Actually, this is a good way to go. We can go and kill the pig from behind. Woo. Which is always fun. You hear it? Oh, dear. Big Piggly. Oh, yes. <laughs> the Saw Hunter badge. Now, what does that do? Again, I know, I know it allows you to buy certain things in the, uh, in the shop, but I'm trying to remember what. Something that we can, that's worth going to buy before we go and fight Gascoigne? Possibly. Possibly, my loves. Okay, clock, clip, clock, clip, clock, clip, clock, clip, clock, clip, clock, clip, clock. Okay. Now, there are two dudes up here who are guarding something. Gotcha. Oh! Okay. Your turn. Wonderful. Lovely, lovely. And it's a Bolt Hunter's mark, so not that special, really. Now, Father Gascoigne. I'm wondering, do we want to take it? Oh, do we want to even try to take him down? Um at this point. Okay, my loves, I tell you what, assuming we do another video, we'll do Father Gascoigne then. Until, th until next time, bye-bye.